Hi everyone, I'm Steve Walker, the CEO of BIAV. Earlier this year, roughly the April through to June period, the BIAV embarked on 12 regionalised roadshows. Our advocacy and membership manager Ben Scullin and I went around the city and around the state and we engaged with as many of our members as possible and we had some really good input, engagement and feedback from them all. Today, due to the fact that I'm not going to be able to get around to visit all 200 or so of our members, I thought this video would be a good way just to quickly capture what the main findings were from those roadshows and to talk a little bit about how they're going to influence the future of the BIAV and the boating industry in Victoria. And the first thing we tried to do at the roadshows was to talk to our members and some other um, stakeholders and industry people was about the priority areas for the BIAV. So by priority um, areas, they could also be the, the, uh, the strategic pillars from a strategic plan. And as a result, we had a really strong consensus of the following six uh, points that I'm going to bring up on the screen here for you, what these areas of importance are. The first one, as you'll see, is governance, stability and financials. Very obvious, very basic, but there was a definite uh, level of support that that's something that BIAV has to be very focused on. We have to make sure the dollars are under control and that we're in a good, strong position to represent the industry and represent boaters. So that was a, a, a pretty straightforward one. The next one was membership itself and probably priority area number one looking after our members, doing all we can to support them, all we can within the industry, all we can with government, anything we can do to, to help our members along was considered a very important strategic pillar. The next is advocacy, and we learnt that that's an absolutely crucial area and got great feedback from every single roadshow that the work we do in advocacy, trying to influence government at all levels and other stakeholders to get outcomes that are good for boating is an absolutely crucial thing. The next one is the boat show and what an important event that is, not only for selling boats and promoting boats, but being a very high level public event in a very high profile location was considered very important and our members really uh, value that and appreciate the uh, benefits to those that exhibit uh, in terms of discounts and the platform that it provides for them. So a very important area. Not only the RACV Marine Melbourne boat show, but boat shows in general, and what else can we do in the boat show space to promote boating, to promote boats, to get more boats sold, etc., etc. The next one's participation, and our main platform for that currently is Life's Better With A Boat. So doing more to bring that next layer of people into boating was considered a very big priority. And finally, education. And under education, what we mainly mean is marine apprenticeships, creating a link between businesses, TAFEs, and potential apprentices and making that uh, connection work. Recognising skills shortages, recognise, recognise where there are shortcomings in courses and bridging that all together and making improvements in that space. So as a result of our 12 roadshows, we've come up with six very important strategic pillars and all six have the absolute uh, support and endorsement of our, of our members. So moving along everyone to Roadshow, and this was all about priority projects. There's been lots of ideas, lots of initiatives, lots of programs touted, talked about um, in recent times. We, we proposed about 15 to 20 of those at each Roadshow, and the five that I'm about to put up on the screen are the ones that really stacked up. The first one is Marine Cart. The next one is the idea of a pop-up boat show or a concept around boat shows that can be held in the city in the country that has capacity for big boats, it has capacity for come and try activity, and it has capacity also for onshore activity. Accreditation programs were considered important. Projects involving research and data so that dealers know what the trends are, what's coming, what's going, and what they need to plan for. And the idea of a boat owner's membership came through as a very good idea. Firstly, so we can communicate to people, but we can build a database of people that, that are involved in boating and, and include them as part of our network and our membership. And finally, and this was in relation to benefit and what benefits BIA provides to its members, the first one's advocacy came through again as that's something we really value. Please keep doing it. The next one is the boat show and the member-related discounts associated to the boat show. The next one was encouraging because it's about uh, member networking, getting together, sharing best practice, being part of an industry, making a contribution to that industry, and that was really encouraging. And the fourth one was travel insurance. Members thought, well, hang on, I'm paying my BIAV fee. 
the amount I pay on that, I'd have to pay for that for travel insurance anyway, so they really valued that. There are a bunch of other benefits around the commercial space that were also valued, but these were the big four, and we'll be making sure that we keep delivering on those. So everyone, thank you very much for taking those few minutes to uh, look at this video. I'll be doing uh, my best to get out and about to visit as many of our members on a regional basis as soon as possible. But in the meantime, I hope you take this video as a, as a good summary of the roadshow, of the findings and of the platform going forward for the BIAV and the industry. Thanks again.